throughout the world. Sport often defines a region. In some cases, it defines an entire continent. In the U.S., more than 100,000 kids play American football every year. Around 9,000 of those athletes will play in college. And less than 2% of them will play in the National Football League. To many who play the sport, the dream seems impossible. But for seven foreigners, a chance may be all they need. My decision to leave rugby had nothing to do with money. NFL was definitely something that was always in my mind. The main sport in my country for sure is soccer. Like, the football right now is the fastest growing sport in the country. This is what I'm fighting for. Like, I just want a safe place for my family. So much motivation to be here, fight for my dream. I want to prove the Mexican can play in the NFL. You know, I, I have the opportunity. I've always wanted this to happen. I've always dreamed for this to happen. But if you're in Germany, there are a lot of people that tell you this will never happen. Everyone's main focus is to, to get onto that 53, and, and that's all what we're going to be driving for. But you know, I'm here now to, to prove that. Over the last decade, the NFL has set its sights on expanding internationally. As part of that initiative, the league developed a program to help identify talented foreign athletes whose skill and athleticism could translate to American football. My name's William Bryce. I work for the NFL's office in London, and I'm the head of football development. Scouts, coaches, GMs are really coming to us now asking for more players and asking for what's next. We look at everything outside of the US. We look at sports like basketball, judo, rugby, to identify those athletes that have the traits that NFL teams might desire. All right, just get on that visa stuff, and if you need anything in the meantime, let me know, and I'll, I'll speak to you Monday. We've narrowed it down to seven players, and they're gonna spend three months training in Florida from January through to the start of April, and the best four players will be allocated to NFL teams. All right, Christian Wade. What position does he play? Winger. So we have Christian Wade. He's a rugby player from England. Going to be a transition. But he's got everything that you'd want you know, in an athlete. You know, Maybe he's going to be a returner. I think he's a guy you want to get the ball in his hands. And so it's going to be really interesting to see someone with his experience and his accomplishments on the rugby field, how that translates to American football. My athletic career in rugby, I won top try scorer of the league three times, and I currently sit third all time try scorer in Premiership history. Christian Wade has another try. You can't write it. He's really a versatile athlete. He's a playmaker. He runs very similar to an American football player. Oh, he's giving it to Wade. That's the last person you want to give it to. Inside is Christian Wade. It's going to be a double hat trick. Six tries in the match now for Christian Wade. I'm from a small town just outside of London called High Wycombe. The way I was brought up in my family, everything to do with the family is obviously the most important thing closely followed by faith in God. My parents obviously always made sure that we did all our homework and did everything else before we were allowed to go and play. We've endeavoured to ensure that he does all the things that a normal child would do, but we were quite aware of his talent, uh, both in sports and in the area of music. He was very competitive, always wanted to, um always wanted to win. He was always trying to do things ahead of his time, and he could do it. And eventually I got used to the idea that you show him once and he's got it. Thank you for everyone in this room, the blessings that you've put over our lives. The family worship was a really key, uh, and still is a really key part of our life. So as human beings, as a family, our objective is clear. We are to increase in what we do. My decision to leave rugby had nothing to do with money. Uh, for me, 
it's always been about enjoyment. Once I saw that I wasn't enjoying it anymore, I knew I had to look elsewhere to almost find something that was going to give me the motivation to want to do well. People obviously would rant and rave about the things I was doing, but I was kind of never satisfied knowing that I was only kind of operating at 70, 80 percent. He always did say one day he would love to play uh, the NFL. It was something that he always wanted to do. So nothing was going to stop him. There is nothing that you cannot do if that's what you want to do. At the end of the day, I just want to challenge myself against the best athletes in the world and what better place to do that than the NFL. Living a farm is amazing. It's the, the best place you can live in the world. If you ask for me like four years ago, what's your dream? I would say for you, I want to be a great farmer, have a great family. I remember when I was like little, growing up, like riding horse, but like when I started to get so big, like <laughs> it started to get be so dangerous. Like if I fall, I probably broke something. I, I live in a farm my whole life. First time I met Duzon, I'll never forget it. He just came in, gave me a big hug, and damn near crushed me. Explosive athlete. Here's Duval Cruz, defensive line from Brazil. And a bit of a freak. I've never seen someone move the way he can move. And you could see that he has something special. So I, I remember the one at the time, he didn't even know how to line up as a D line, you know, uh, <laughs> with Duzon. He was like, no, I'm not going to let nobody beat me. You know, he can do some things that when you watch his film, people that size just can't do. He's 6'4", he's 330 pounds. And I was like, hey, if he really learns this game, he's going to be violent in the NFL. It's a Maximo Gonzalez Sanchez. But this is the first time he's ever done these types of drills. Finishes. Mark it. Maximo Gonzalez, take one, soft sticks. My name is Maximo Gonzalez, I'm from the city of Mexico. I have 25 years and I play outside linebacker. I'm proud to be a Mexican. I will be the first Mexican player to ever make the 53 roster in the NFL. I live with my mom, with my two younger sisters. My mom uh, works in a gas station and she doesn't have money and always work more time for, for pay something for me. And we are united, always stay together. The football is my life, the sister is my life, you know. We are a family. Maximo Gonzalez Sanchez, he's achieved uh, every honor in Mexico representing the national team. He was ranked the best defensive player in the nation for uh, in the university league. My greatest strength is my, my mindset. I always, I, I want to be the first, the best in everything. Maximo is a warrior, you know, it's, he plays with his, his heart and he plays for his family. Uh, so he's the best player in Mexico right now. My name is Jakob Johnson. Ich bin aus Stuttgart in Deutschland. Und mein Traum ist es, in der NFL zu spielen. Jakob Johnson is a fullback slash tight end out of Germany. Once Jakob graduated high school in Germany, and he ended up attending University of Tennessee, for him to come in as a German and come in and start at linebacker is unbelievable. America is not the only place where you're going to find people that can run fast and catch a ball and, and play football, you know? And unfortunately for him, in his senior year, he tore his shoulder needed surgery, which really impacted his ability to prep for his pro day. In my mind, I was like, OK, this clearly this chapter of my life is over. He feels like he got the hard end of the stick, what happened to him in his senior season at Tennessee with his injury. So he's going to go after this. This is real simple. I want to I wanna prove that I can take this all the way. Moby, take two soft sticks. My hands me is there. Okay, let's go. Like, I'm ready. My name is Abdul Mubarak Jerry. 
You can call me Moby. I was born in Togo, West Africa, and I grew up in Germany. Mubarak grew up playing soccer and you know, his, his parents wouldn't let him play American football. Mom and dad say like, no, don't play football, you're gonna hurt yourself. My mom and my dad want me to play soccer. I told her, mom, I have, on this Sunday I have a game. If you want, come watch me. If you like it, I'm gonna keep going. If you don't like it, I'm gonna stop. And after that, she came to every single game that I play in Germany. You know, he was rewarded with that hard work um, by signing a contract with the Arizona Cardinals last year. Uh, I pick up the phone and it was like, the guy said, oh, I'm a scout from Arizona. Uh, we really like your tape and we, uh, we would like to invite you uh, for the tryout. And I was, I just started like crying. I was excited. Man, I've been working so hard. People saying like, I'm never, I'm never gonna make it. And right now I have the chance to go to Arizona and make my dream come true. I was in Arizona for five months. And then like one week before the season start, I just go down, they said like, yeah, we, we have to cut you. And I just start crying, like, I just think about my mom, the stuff, like, I don't know how to tell, to tell her. She was like, I'm really proud of you, like the man you became. My mom always say, try to say always positive. Try to say always positive, because all the negativity gonna put you down. No matter how hard it is, you gotta keep going and to make it happen for your family, because my mom's always, make it happen for our family. My name is David Bader. My greatest dream is that I in the NFL play. David is again a guy that we've had our eye on for a number of years now, tracking his progress. My biggest threat is my long arms and my speed. He just loves football. That's all he wants to talk about. And that's all he wants to surround himself with. After my soccer career, I have nothing to do. I have a brother for me play football. They say, hey, come on, you're big, you, maybe you like football. And he's the player coming in that, you know, potentially he'd say it to himself, who's very raw and needed to learn his body, learn how to use his body. I have a big family in Germany and Africa. Yeah, my parents are from Ghana and Togo. My family is so proud of me. My, my wife, Stephanie, uh, support me, call me every day say never give up, fight for your dream. This is for me a big motivation. Val Holmes, Sussex. Valentine is a superstar back home in Australia. He's one of the best players in rugby league. You know, it's been a massive sort of journey. You know, I've played in a World Cup. I've played in they call Four Nations. I always try and just give 100% in everything I do at training or on the field. You know, I try not to come off the field with any regrets. Represents his country, scored multiple tries, and you know, he made this decision himself to take that step and that leap and back himself to, to try a different sport. After traveling thousands of miles to the United States, there was little time for rest. Over the next three months, the focus is football. The NFL Pathway Program has provided the prospects with some of the best coaches, trainers, and facilities in the country to help bridge the gap between the fundamentals and becoming a professional American football player. All right, fellas, welcome, welcome. I know it's been a long time coming for some of you, some big decisions for some of you, but we're really happy to have you all here. And, you know, we've scoured the whole globe, it seems like, this year, trying to find the best athletes to bring into this program. And we really feel like we've found them. 
that guys outside of the US can play this game and they can play it at the highest level. Think about what it's gonna mean for the 14 year old or 15 year old growing up in Brazil and Mexico that could never thought that would be possible. Or the kid that's watching the London games and they're 12 and they think, well, I love playing soccer, I love playing football, I play rugby in Australia. But these guys are doing this. Understand that this program is bigger than all of us in this room. Come on, Ron. The Philadelphia Eagles select Jordan Milano. This is just the third year of doing it, but it's changing the league. It's changing the perception of people in the league. You can change some people's lives. Now it's time to go to work.